Greenland sharks are large, sluggish and usually blind subarctic species of the dogfish order. This order hosts many fascinating shark species, from the minute dwarf lantern shark, to the distinctive Caribbean rough shark. The Greenland shark is a massive species with a heavy cylindrical body and short, rounded snout. Their dorsal fins are spineless and equally sized, the first of which is closer to the pelvic fin than pectoral fins. They have no anal fin and no keels are present on their caudal fin. Their colour varies between a uniform black, brown and grey, although sometimes they are marked with dark lines or white spots along their back and sides. The green shark is replaced in the Pacific Ocean by the Pacific Sleep Shark. These two species are very similar and difficult to separate other than by geographic area. Some observers have stated that the Pacific Sleeper Shark has a more posterior first dorsal fin. Greenland sharks can grow to a size of 6.4 metres long and weigh up to 1,000 kilograms. However, most Greenland sharks observed have been around 2.4 to 4.8 metres long and up to 400 kilograms in weight. Despite their large size, they only grow at a rate of around 1 centimetre per year. Male Greenland sharks typically reach smaller sizes than their female counterparts. The green shark is the only true subarctic shark. They are known to inhabit the East Atlantic from the Seine River mouth in France to Svalbard. Reports from the Antarctic are thought to be misidentifications of the southern sleeper shark. They are found from surface waters in shallow bays to depths of at least 1,200 metres in continental shelf waters. They are cryophiles, meaning they show a distinct preference to extremely cold waters. The majority of recorded catch and observation temperatures have been between minus 1.8 and 10 degrees Celsius. The majority of Greenland sharks are parasitized by an unusual copiapod worm. The prevalence of this parasite in surveyed populations is up to 98.9%. The parasite embeds an anchoring device into the cornea and permanently tethers itself to it. This leads to corneal lesions, which can seriously disrupt the shark's vision. These sharks also have high concentrations of nitrogenous waste products in their tissues. This includes urea and TMAO. This helps them to survive the extreme osmotic stress of the deep sea and improves their buoyancy. TMAO also serves to counteract the protein destabilizing tendencies of urea. These high levels of nitrogenous waste makes the flesh of the Greenland shark toxic.
If the meat is eaten raw, toxins can produce effects similar to extreme drunkenness. Occasionally, sled dogs that eat the flesh are unable to stand up because of this effect. The flesh can be treated through a special process of fermentation, producing the Icelandic delicacy, Hakal. At higher latitudes, Greenland sharks move into the shallower waters during the colder months. They then retreat to deeper waters when the ocean is warm in the summer. The reverse is believed to be true at lower latitudes. They also make daily movements to shallower waters in the afternoon and at night. This movement is possibly related to preying on seals. Greenland sharks are slow. Their normal cruising speed is just 0.76 miles per hour. Their maximum cruising speed of 1.6 miles per hour makes them one of the slowest species of shark. In fact, their maximum swing speed is about half that of a typical seal. However, arctic seals sometimes sleep in the water column to avoid predation by polar bears. This may leave them vulnerable to stealthy attacks from the Greenland shark. Rather than laying eggs, Greenland sharks carry eggs, which are hatched within the body of the parent. They produce litters of approximately 10 pups, each pup measuring 37 to 38 centimetres at birth. However, the size of maturity, the gestation period, and the reproductive period are all unknown. Greenland sharks are predicted to have the longest lifespan of all vertebrate species. Greenland sharks do not have vertebral growth rings, making aging them difficult. Researchers have come up with a workaround by carbon dating the proteins in the shark's eyelids. Their lifespan is estimated to be 392 years. Greenland sharks were previously thought as purely opportunistic scavengers. However, recent studies have shown them to be an active apex predator. Their diet mainly consists of Atlantic cod, wolffish and harp seals. They also feed on offal and carrion such as narwhal and beluga whale carcasses whenever available. Parts of drowned horses, reindeer and even a polar bear have been found in their stomachs. When feeding on carcasses, these sharks use their unsymmetrical serrated lower jaws to their advantage. They employ a rolling motion which rips the flesh off the prey in a corkscrew pattern. The only confirmed predator of the Greenland shark is the sperm whale. However, walkers are known to prey on the Greenland shark's cousin, the Pacific sleeper.
Observed Greenland sharks are generally docile in nature, with sluggish movement. This combined with the fact that interactions are rare, means the likelihood of an attack on a human is low. So far, no cases of predation on people have been verified. Greenland sharks are listed as near threatened by the IUCN, despite some densely populated areas. This is on the basis of potential population declines and their limiting life and history characteristics. There is a need to further examine historical data and closely monitor current bycatch levels.